Hi, and welcome back to the Ultimate Frontline Leadership Training Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Quinn. Now, before we begin, I want to make sure that you want the job for the right reasons. Because if you want to be a manager for the wrong reasons, this could be a total disaster for everyone involved, especially you. I've seen this happen time and time again, so this step is really important. Now, if you want to be a manager because you think you'll work less and make more money, this job's not for you. Your hours will probably double, which will cut your hourly pay considerably. If you want to be a manager because you think you won't have to do the manual labor anymore, I will say you'll probably wash dishes, clean bathrooms, and pick up trash in the parking lot a lot more than you're doing right now. Also, If you want to be a manager so you can fire that idiot that's ruining your life and hire your friend, it's been my experience that this plan never works out the way you think it will. Nobody likes to work for a punitive boss. Nobody. Not even your friend. Sometimes you're going to have to deal with angry customers. I'll show you how to tell the difference between a good customer who just wants stuff the way that they ordered it and how to deal with the problem customers that you can't afford to keep. Another thing people don't take into consideration when thinking about becoming management is some employees will make fun of you. You'll also probably work for GMs and DMs that did not go through this training and their attitudes and methods will confuse and irritate you. Obviously, you can't fix your boss, but I'll teach you the five-minute rule for dealing with frustration. Another thing about management is you'll probably be spending most of your waking lives at work. I consistently put in 12 to 14 hour days managing restaurants. See what I mean? Management is a lot different than people think it is. And if you aren't up for it all, then you could have talked your way into a job that you're going to hate. But if you love people, then you'll meet some of the hardest working and selfless people you will ever have the pleasure of knowing. And your customers will be your biggest fans. I loved my regular customers and it was the hardest thing for me to do was to leave my last crew and enter this new phase of my career. I miss them terribly. Now, what are some of the people that uh, will make a good manager? Those people who are responsible, they show up to work on time, they hardly ever call out sick, Um, they work hard, they're very organized, and uh, they have a, a good work ethic, meaning that when a job is given to them, they see it through and they do the best job they can. And they know that every time you do a job, you've signed your name on the results, on the end product. That was all you. So if you had to straighten up the shelves or, or uh, clean the carpets or organize the, the dish racks or whatever, how well you do speaks volumes about you. And this type of person is great for a frontline manager position. The type of person that that sees a job till it's done and is done correctly. Today's saying is, a great manager has more friends than they can count. Print this out and post it on your office to consistently remind you where to put your focus. Now, it took a few years of me trying to do things my way and getting beat up by customers, employees, and bosses before I got humble enough to embrace the things I was being shown by people who really didn't have to be so generous with me. If you can wrap your head around what I'll be teaching you, then you can have the promise of a bright and successful future. Coming up next, the one crucial tool that I keep in my shirt pocket that keeps me organized and on target, the never-ending to-do list. All right, till the next time.